Okay, he's got to take his blood pressure now. Sit one sitting. My blood pressure will lower during the dialysis as well. So uh, it doesn't matter if I have it too high, I just don't want to pass out on the machine. If it's too low, he'll pass, pass out. out. Yep. He doesn't pass out from high. Um, if it's really high, he actually can get migraines. That's about the only thing that bothers him. So, one, 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 nine, nine, five, one ninety nine. Nine. Oh, and here it looks like five. Okay, so that's his sitting one. And the sixty-three wrist. And now he's standing. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to be high today. Mm -hmm. And that's because I've got too much fluid, so that's why I have to take off 2.6 litres today. That will bring my heart rate down. And I'm only allowed 1.5 litres of liquid per day, so I don't wear it out. Yep, and this is caused through a autoimmune disease called anchor vasculitis, and it can either affect your kidneys your lungs or cause a if you look it up and google it um or it'll cause blood vessels to break all over your body so you look like you've got all this massive bruising all over your body and in james's instance he got the kidneys and started trying to attack the lungs as well but didn't get that far which is good yeah right now yeah, we'll get this machine a little bit closer where i like it And his creatinine levels and everything are pretty good at the moment, aren't they? Yep. And that's how we knew there was something wrong with him. He went for a normal test because he actually gets gout. And he has to go for checkups to renew his gout medication. And they discovered he had protein in his urine. And his creatinine levels were sky high. So. One last little check in the machine, make sure everything looking okay. okay. Because the next step is now to chuck needles in myself. Okay, the needle bit, I've already got videos of that, so I think we can virtually sign off now. He's got this little blood splattering thing, <laughs> comes in handy. Yeah. And you know what these are handy for too, guys, is using them, if you've got kids in the car and you're feeding them while you're going along for some reason and they've got good clothes on, uh, or you've got a sick kid that's spewing or whatever, you want to protect their clothes. So we get spares because he gets two in every pack. So I just, um, yeah, I keep them, put some in the car, give them some to Sarah. They're always handy to have. You never know when you want them. Or, and I've even got them for myself if we're out somewhere reading Euroses. <laughs> the garlic sauce usually gets everywhere. So they're actually handy. And they're actually, uh, we had a puppy or whatever. They're the same as what those puppy um, training um, pads are or whatever they call them. Yeah, uh, had an operation on this arm to yeah, get now that's Yes, this is called officially. You can see how his vein is huge. Um, now you tell the story how do they do it put a main artery in a vein they tie it together to get a super highway super highway vein yeah <laughs> so it's easier for the otherwise it's too thin a vein for the blood to flow through because you're seeing the needles i gather yeah well i'm gonna put all this up on youtube and i'll sort it all out later in um sequence so i won't bother with this now because we've already done this before <laughs>